Natalie Sidesurf here, Sidesurf Cake Studio, and I'm gonna show you how I made a bar of soap cake. For this cake, I've decided that I'm going to talk you through how I made the cake, and I'm going to answer some of your questions that you've asked me in the comments. I think this should be a lot of fun. Here you can see I'm starting out by carving the cake into the shape of a rectangular soap tray, and then I cover it in green buttercream. Which brings me to your first question. Is green buttercream your favorite? You always use it. Yes, I do. And that is for a few reasons. So first, I really like the color. I think that it's really fun, it's vibrant, but most importantly, it's memorable. That's likely because it isn't a common color that's used to fill a cake, and I like that it makes my cakes unique. When you guys see a cake that has green buttercream on the inside, it is extremely likely that it's a cake that I made. I've gathered white, yellow, and orange sprinkles, and I'm crushing them up with the end of a small rolling pin. No rhyme or reason to why I chose those colors, I just like them. I'm creating a composite stone effect for the soap tray. So it's made to look as if I crushed up stone and I combined it with a binder like cement. So in this case, my stone is sprinkles and my cement is modeling chocolate. All I do is I roll out modeling chocolate, I sprinkle the crushed up sprinkles on top, and then I roll my rolling pin over them so that I smash them into that chocolate. I love the way this looks. So I'm gonna add some more sprinkles. You see this effect a lot on countertops and on floors. I like to see it as a much less thoughtful mosaic. <laughs> then I just cover the cake and I shape it. Next question. Why would I wanna to listen to you talk over it about something basically totally unrelated to the cake in front of us? That's a fair question. <laughs> I post a new cake video once a week, and I've been doing this for a few years now. And every time I make a cake, there are a few things that I do every single time. So rather than repeat myself every single video, sometimes I use those moments as an opportunity to just chat a bit. <laughs> I let you know, you know, maybe why I'm making the cake, or what the inspiration is behind the cake, or like in this case, I can answer your questions. Do not worry though, because if I'm using an interesting technique or a unique edible material in the video, I will always be sure to talk you through what's going on on screen. The tray is finished, so now it's time to carve a layer of cake into the shape of a bar of soap and then cover it in white modeling chocolate. I decided to make the bar of soap a bit rounded because the tray is rectangular. I figured I'd give it a little variety. A few more questions that you've asked are, don't you feel bad when you have to cut the cakes? Not at all. It is actually my favorite part. I love that I get to create a sculpture and then everyone gets to eat it. Is everything that you use in cakes edible? Yes, except for the structure that's used to hold the cake up. Everything I use in my cakes is 100% edible. Edible modeling chocolate, edible wafer paper, edible gelatin, all edible. What do you use to paint with? I typically use gel food color mixed with either water or alcohol, or sometimes I'll use powder food color. On rare occasions, I will airbrush my cakes, but that gets kind of messy, so I try to avoid it. Is she wearing a wig? <laughs> oh, okay. I have been asked that my whole life. I will point out that the color is not real, but the hair itself is very real. 
When I was in college, I actually had a stranger walk up to me, pull on my hair and say, nice fake hair. But it was attached to my head. So jokes on her. <laughs> A lot of bar soap has a logo engraved into it, but because this video is not sponsored by any brands, I'm going to engrave mine with the word cake, because that's what it is. Now I just place my cake soap onto my cake tray. And there you have it, a bar of soap cake. And like I said earlier, my favorite part about making cakes is cutting them. So let's cut the cake. I couldn't get to all your questions in the YouTube comments, but you can join Patreon where I can answer them more easily. We also now have Subscribestar, so you can join me there as well. If you like my cakes, I post a new one every week, so subscribe to this channel. And if you like this cake, let me know by liking this video.